On June 7, 2022, the European Court of Human Rights ruled in favor of Jehovah's Witnesses in 21 cases, all in one day. Brothers, this decision is truly historic. In fact, the court consolidated 20 of our cases into one decision and ruled conclusively in our favor in all of them. To be politically neutral. In all of these areas, the European Court concludes that our religious beliefs and activities are entirely peaceful and are protected by the right to freedom of religion, and are protected by the right to freedom of religion, and are protected by the right to freedom of religion. But even if it does not, this decision is legally binding on the 46 countries who have submitted to the jurisdiction of the European Court. Thus, are better protected than ever. Are better protected than ever. Better protected than ever. Friends, we are better protected than ever. Why? Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Be in subjection to governing authorities. Titus, all over the Bible, it tells us to be obedient. Even King Solomon said there's a time for everything under the sun. There's a time for tearing up. There's a time for sewing together. There's a time for war. There's a time for peace. Right now, our brothers are in turmoil in Russia. There's a war. And we're going to do everything we can from the governing body. Thank you to all the members for everything they've done and for all the uh, protection that all the brothers and sisters are getting through the European Union. This has led to protection all over the world in 50 some countries. Good work, well done brothers. Now we have one huge hurdle to overcome. And that should be easy now that Jesus is truth. We no longer hold providence over truth. We can go to Putin and we can tell Russia's president, Mr. Putin, that we no longer fit the bill of fascism. We now took Mr. Putin's advice and we examined our faith and we found that yes, he was right. We were all in the Rutherford trance. Now that we've re-examined our faith, thanks to Mr. Putin, we will take that off and we have on our first letter that we just sent out today. This is our second letter to the world and we hope that this letter gets to our brothers in Russia and gets to Mr. Putin. We will all say a prayer for Mr. Putin because now we consider Mr. Putin to be one of Christ's children. This will help us to recognize that we don't have the truth, only Jesus has the truth. And we have stopped our door-to-door -door preaching and saving of trees. Thanks, Mr. Putin. And we will plant trees if there's a shortage of trees in Russia. And we ask that we get all our kingdom halls back and our places of worship and that do we just carry on as normal citizens worshiping Jesus and God, but more Jesus. And we don't focus on the governments as beasts or the religions as harlots because we're all in the same boat. We're all together in this. So. This is our goal, brothers, is that we release all of our brothers and sisters out of prison in the Ukraine and in Russia. We've now broken free from the Rutherford trance. Thanks again, brothers, and until next time, live your life. But even more, because the European court is held in such high regard, this decision will have great weight before high courts worldwide. We thank Jehovah for this historic victory, this resounding victory from the European Court. We dearly love each one of you. From the World Headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses, this is JW Broadcasting.